all right guys welcome to day six uh definitely things are starting to stack up against me i got a, a tire that's going flat uh last night last night i uh sliced my hand really really good uh, pretty much can't hardly use my left hand right now at all my skinner's sick so i fell way behind on skinning uh definitely kind of stressful on top of that today we got some nice snow flurries and it's cold uh 37 degrees right now uh probably 20 mile an hour wind gusts last night the wind howled terribly uh it was it was windy i'm not expecting a big day but that's good matter of fact a lot of these traps i probably won't even reset right now i uh, kind of condensed the line a little bit just to to get caught up on stuff uh i don't like i don't like feeling behind so kind of condense it temporarily and uh see what we can pull out of it all right guys here's a nice coon i'm just coming down this fence line right here behind this cedar tree i think i filmed this spot a couple times now so cornfield behind me uh <coughs> starting to not feel so great i really hope i'm not coming down with something like my skinner did but it's a struggle guys especially days like this kind of a really really crappy last 24 hours with vehicle issues my hand everything else we're gonna pace ourselves today we're not gonna get in a hurry we're not gonna hustle just pace myself i last thing i need to do is get myself in a another pinch and a bind or get hurt worse so just slowly work our way through the day well we got a cocoon possum double here uh just coming out underneath the cedar tree right along this fence line tell you what snow's coming down pretty good now um it's actually starting to accumulate on the the grass and the weeds and stuff so hopefully hopefully we don't end the day with like two inches of snow on the ground or something crazy but at the same time you know we're condensing the line a little bit temporarily until i can get the tires fixed you know let my hand heal up a little bit uh setting these dog proofs one-handed is really kind of killing me right now i should have brought one of those tools with me but i didn't uh we're figuring it out though we're, we're making do and just you know slowly and surely getting through the day sometimes i'm surprised at how well they move in that nasty wind and and just crummy conditions i kind of figured a light breeze maybe a light miss is ultimate you know coon moving weather but i mean it was all out howling last night and i'll tell you what, we're starting to starting to throw some fur in back the truck so it's a good day but at the same time i was kind of hoping to not have such a good day with everything i got going on at home oh my gosh another one here uh just a nice little timber draw actually it's going to beans on the other side so i don't set a whole lot of the bean locations but there's also another probably acre to a timber on the other side too so when you add a little bit of timber on the other side it turns more into like a timber timber location uh not not somewhere where i'm going to pick up 10 coon but i think this is uh the second one on this in five six days now so i think this is six days i don't know they all blend together at a certain point but get him taken care of get down the road well the snow stopped uh that's a good thing but that wind i think picked up even more she is a howling but we got some standing corn here which i used to think was almost beneficial for my trap line but until today my theory is uh it's so warm that these coon are probably living in the cornfields guys uh, i've been talking to a couple other guys that have a lot more experience and knowledge about coon trapping than i do and they're telling me that you know until it gets cold enough they need an actual denning area they'll just curl up in a ball mill of the cornfields and live out there which could explain why you know you might not catch a whole lot uh going from a timber to corn standing corn location right now uh pretty interesting insight uh, i never would have thought of that but get him taken care of you down the road guys oh the line's definitely starting to pick up a little bit now uh i think this is four for four now uh in a row four locations which is really good because there is part of my old old line We're kind of running a little backwards this year uh or not this year but today uh, i got uh one of my buyers for one of my markets showing up here in a little bit so kind of running it a little differently than what i normally would but get him taken care of and uh, get down the road guys oh we got us another one going down to this pond right here right across the road we got corn I think we caught three coon here now, so really, really good location. 
All right, guys, so you can see this uh, kind of a switchgrass type grass here, and there's, there's cut cornfield above it. Uh, on the other side of the road, we got a nice little patch of cedar trees. Some of these trails are really, really hard, and I haven't caught anything in this yet, but today we got us a nice, nice coon here. It's really hard to tell if I can get down in here, but you can see the trail kind of wraps up around and kind of goes down and through. Uh, very hard to tell unless you're driving at almost, you know, I mean, you gotta almost be stopped to be able to see this trail, but sat dormant for several days now, but today we connected, so works for me. Uh, also, luckily I brought some setters with me uh, with the shape that my hand's in. Uh, I cannot do these 220s by hand anymore. Uh, kind of frustrating. Uh, my hand's definitely, definitely feeling it right now. But as part of the game, you kind of, kind of just adapt to whatever you have to do. But this part of my line is one that we're setting off for now. Uh, probably get this set again middle of next week uh hopefully hopefully not even that late but still throwing a nice cooter back to the truck oh yeah it's kind of a darker fella here uh definitely definitely a little darker but just coming down this fence line you can see ponies and uh some sheep back here just come down this fence line going to corn on the other side guys that's all it is. They're crawling right underneath that fence right behind them. I think this is three or four coons for this location. Uh, just, uh, you know, we got a fence line here, fence line behind me that goes to beans. I'm actually surprised we're doing this well here. Uh, normally when that's corn, this is one of my good six to eight coon locations. Uh, when it's beans, normally I only catch one or two, but seeing three, that's I'm very happy with that. So uh, still snowing pretty decently right now. Uh, not terrible, but it's supposed to do this all day. Not sure how they're going to move tonight with, with the wind and the snow, but they moved a lot better than I thought last night. We're, we're starting to rack them up pretty good here. So here's something else I want to point out to you guys. I uh, just set off this dog proof here. Um, we got some more rain last night, so it kind of made the dog food soft. But you can see it all over the ground here where I overfilled it. There are tracks going through here. Um, raccoon and even just uh, feral cat tracks crossing going through this tube but they showed no interest in this dog proofs are a very effective tool but if that animal's not hungry you're not going to catch them uh, bottom line you know that's why i love my 220s you know you're going to catch anything going down that trail dog proofs you're only going to catch them if they're hungry or interested in what you got in there for bait so i know i missed some fur uh, i think you will no matter with what bait you use period but uh, I like I like my cat food that I use for bait. Uh, is there better stuff out there? Possibly. Uh, probably, but for the cost efficiency and how I run my line, I really like it. So you're gonna miss fur guys, no matter what you're doing. Uh, it's just all part of the game. You're not gonna catch every single thing goes down that trail, especially in these dog proofs. Good morning. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. We're right here on a nice little creek system. Uh, this has got that high trail that kind of goes up and wraps around over here. Uh, really, really nice trail. Got a nice coon and a little possum that we're gonna get out of here, but uh, kind of wrapping up this segment of the line. Gonna go meet one of my uh, buyers at home and then run the rest of it. So we'll see you guys after that. All right, guys, it's uh, we're gonna film while we can. It's 1.30, I'm just now getting around to running the rest of my line. Uh, we're going to be running this probably well into dark tonight, which is pretty miserable, but still snowing, still coming, not snowing hard, but I mean, it's definitely, definitely snowing, wind, 25 mile an hour gusts. I mean, it's just pretty miserable, but uh, still catching fur though, and that's what I like to see. We got us a nice skunk here. Uh, I just did the dispatch shot, 177, um, air gun to the chest cavity uh you know he's he's going down it's no different than a deer uh no spray no nothing or shouldn't be anyway uh it just takes a couple seconds guys you just gotta kind of let it run its course put one good shot in the vitals and uh you know just be patient but it's a very very ethical and very quick humane dispatch 
uh, without the spray I'll be able to harvest everything from them you know like I said a little earlier dog proofs aren't always the answer uh, we got dog proof here with bait on this trail and we got the coon in the 220 so he walked right past it maybe looked at it, checked it out but he wasn't interested so it's one of those things guys I love my dog proofs but they definitely have their place and other traps if I can have their place as well that's what I like to see that's definitely what I like to see tell you what I'm definitely not used to used to using these setters you don't realize you don't appreciate how much your health is worth until all of a sudden you can't use something uh, this left hand of mine is pretty much all but worthless right now and it is just killing me uh, you know I know not everybody can set these 220s by hand but I've gotten pretty decent at it and it's just a huge time saver for me to set these by hand now I've already left the setters out twice uh, at taking other coon out at different locations had to circle back because not only do I not want to set them by hand I physically can't set them by hand anymore so very frustrating for me but it's gonna be kind of a a tough remake here but we'll get it we'll get it worked out I just need to blend it in here a little bit hopefully now let's get some grass I like this this grass for doing all this stuff works really well problem is all this stuff they got knocked down over here uh, kind of rough rough remake but anything coming up through here we'll go up through it I don't know if coming down they'll hit it or not but anyway we got a lot of stuff to go and it's getting late I'm not sure how well you guys can see this or not I got her super glued together right now but compared to my other finger she is oh she is swollen and she is sore she will not not move so pretty pretty rough right now i really wish i had this hand back not sure what the deal is today but uh 220s have really been hitting uh even though this is just a a possum here uh it's pretty pretty nice to see those ouch, 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 see those 220s hitting uh like I've said before in several other of the videos, they're definitely my, my favorite trap. I use more dog proofs, but I definitely prefer the 220s. Just because, I mean, no catch circle. Um, generally have a lot less issues with theft. Uh, because one, they can't see them. And two, you know, you don't have that big catch circle. There's nothing live bouncing around and such. Oh, man. These 220s definitely hurt still, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I love my 220s. Well, the snow turned to rain, which I think I'd much rather have that snow back. A lot of my 220s that aren't fired off are kind of having issues with uh, funneling them, but that one's ready to take another one. I can't even begin to tell you guys how sore I am. Uh, that last coon thumbnail, he got me in the webbing between my, on my right hand, between my thumb and my pointer finger, uh, tore me up pretty good. Uh, so now I got, now I got two, two bum limbs. Uh, it's, it's a struggle guys, but got another coon. Guess what it is under a cedar tree. Guess what's on the other side of the road, a cornfield. Uh, it's, uh, over and over and over guys that's all it is wow i think this one still has some milk on its lips it's pretty little here's another way to uh release these coon guys in dog proofs if you can get one side of your setter tool on that um then get the other side around the cone compress and away he goes uh that's probably the safer way to do it than how i've always done it uh you know it, it works pretty well uh just give you guys kind of a alternative alternative option here so getting down the road that's crazy 
Look how much water's filled up in this culvert. Uh, he had to got caught really early last night before it got too nasty. Uh, otherwise, that trap was in here probably under about six inches of water. So, still happy to have another one. Uh, this is just going over here to a, to a cut cornfield is all it is. Uh, big river system actually right down the way here. Uh, I think if I could get on some more little tributaries coming into it, really, really, really do well. But uh, this is about the only one on, on the public row anyway. So, well, get him taken care of. Well, we've definitely been seeing a lot of this spot recently. Oh, this is a, this is a nice little tube. Uh, I think this is like probably six or seven we've caught out of these two traps. Uh, either he got a hold of that one or, or we missed one there. But uh, nice coon, nothing huge about him, but just a nice, nice little coon. That's a little growly with me, but. Get him taken care of and uh we got about i don't know probably about another 75 locations it's about quarter to three so we got to move and now the rain has set in oh and now the rain just set in on us that's gonna make things even more interesting uh that's kind of a light colored phase coon here he's kind of interesting uh this might be a, a good one to put on the wall here uh not not a cinnamon or anything like that but really really kind of a cool color man he's really the more i look at him he's almost he's a really really unique color here i'm gonna get him dispatched take a look at him good coon problem is he's all the way down here oh yeah that's a good one for the day oh yeah Definitely good coon. Just going up here to cut corn, guys. It's kind of interesting. There's a draw on the other side of the road, but it's got standing corn over there. Uh, you know, standing corn is definitely going to be more ideal for them. But uh, just kind of interesting. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that if I was a betting man, I would not say that they would be crossing the road at least until the other side was picked. But it's not. So kind of interesting. There's exceptions to every rule or whatever you want to call it. We are starting to stack them up, holy cow. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be done before dark. Just when I hit a dead spell, thinking, all right, we're getting through it, we're gonna get home. All of a sudden I go, I mean, one after another after another. Uh, I think this front last night really got them moving well. Uh, and also this is one of the worst things about dog proofs. If you can see this trap is now just a complete ball of mud, so. It's one of the big downfalls about them for sure, but still love the suckers. <laughs> Got our first connection in this trap. Oh, he went way down there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tell you what, it's definitely making me think of like a, a an Iowa winter right now. You know, a lot of people don't like this type of weather. But for trapping right now, this is trapping weather for me. You know, it's breezy, it's chilly, uh, 34 degrees. Uh, but you know, it's perfect for me right now to run around in a sweatshirt. Did I lose my H stand? Nope, I see it. He just took it down the trail. So I, I'm, I'm sorry, not H stand, muskrat stand. Uh, it's one of the few things, you know, I do lose a few of them from time to time, but I hate mud. Everything's gonna be muddy though. Tell you what though, right underneath that flowing water behind that coon, that'd be a great spot for a pocket set for a mink if that water's gonna be here. Uh, it's actually kind of dry when I set this, but. Anyway, uh, finally got to the, the last segment we gotta check yet. I actually, first thing this morning, checked and set off the very last segment of my line. It, I'll tell you what, that is really hard to do. I snapped everything off, knowing that I have a lot of work to do at home, a lot of catch up to play right now. But with this breezy, misting, overcast night, I hate doing it because I think these suckers are going to move like crazy tonight. Uh, if I had my whole line set, if I if I would have got behind on skinning, I would have gone ahead and set the rest of my line. I bet we'd have 120, 150 coon tomorrow. Uh, that being said, you know I pulled probably. Didn't pull, but snapped off probably a quarter of my line. 
Uh, I'm still expecting some pretty decent numbers tomorrow with even though you know I'm gonna have to have a lot of work to do tonight but it's part of it all right and if you see my muskrat stretcher no trap no trap boom nice 220 coon off to the side out of the trail love it yes just got him pulled out of the the weeds here and he is a big boy Ooh, that's a big coon this truck is filling up and that's what we want uh, it's a little frustrating because I'm so far behind at home uh, that bothers me but same time I'm trapping I'm catching fur and that's what I love doing oh, damn. come back over here to my muskrat stretcher I'm gonna be out here late enough. There's probably gonna be coon running, running through these traps while I'm still running. We're stacking them. <laughs> oh, look at that big, beautiful sucker. <laughs> and only like six or seven stops before I go home. I'm sure my wife will love that. Now a lot of the time, you might not smell him a lot until you move him. This is not the case. I can already smell him. He's got a little oomph into him. But man, what a pretty skunk. Woo, yeah, he's right. Got kind of belly patches and arm, arm, shoulder patches. Pretty skunk. Yeah, my wife's gonna be thrilled when I get home. I do love me some skunks. And this one. She sure is a pretty one. A little muddy maybe, but that's a pretty skunk right there. That'll bring top dollar. Ooh, that skunk in back of the truck stinks. <laughs> Especially when you're downwind of it, but we're losing light quick, but we're still wrapping up fur, guys. Uh, just a trail that's going up to a pole, going up to a cornfield. Uh, I'm right on the road here. It's actually clawing at the road, but still wrapping up fur, but losing light quick. Ah, nice double, nice double on this old wooden box culvert right down the road from where my old man grew up. Oh man, what a day. What a day. Yes. Yeah, they're just little guys, but we got us a, a double on each one on each side of the road here. Ooh, I got lucky again. Had the safety on one side once again. My hand hurts. My back's starting to hurt. I'm tired. My throat's starting to burn pretty good, but we are catching fur. Hopefully not too late into the night.
This one's a little better than the other side, but not much. My uh, boy has a friend over tonight, so I had to order some uh, Casey's Pizza and Wings for dinner for everybody. So, kind of, I just ordered that in the truck, so I'm kind of nothing else in a pinch, <laughs> in a hurry to get that. This is going to be a hard fencing job here as well. I think I struggled on this one last time also. Ah. There we go. There we go, I like that a little better. Oh, don't pull the trap up. Keep everything out of the jaws that I can. I don't know. Don't look the prettiest, but uh, she might work. Oh boy. Just as I'm in a hurry, we run into another one of these suckers. <laughs> uh, this might take a little bit, but you gotta do it. We'll get him dispatched with that 177 and uh, get down the road. Whew, about 10 till 5. We are losing light quick, but another nice coon coming from a ditch down there, crossing over to a, a pond dam, over to corn. Actually, dark enough I can't see my GPS without turning the light on now. Oh, hell of a run though today. About seven more locations, eight, uh, no, about 10, because I got another small, small road that I added onto, but. We're gonna hopefully finish in what little daylight we got. Not sure if I'll get the last couple on film or not, but man, what a day. Oh man, we got another one that absolute last light. Uh, that's frustrating. Uh, not sure if I'll get the, you know, these skunks, they take a few minutes to, to expire. So we're gonna do what we can anyway. Uh, six locations left, I think. Gonna get off here and get this taken care of. Third to last location here. Oh, just a nice timber draw going to corn on the other side guys two more spots let's go <laughs> oh second to last location <laughs> nice nice 220 coon Whew. what a day oh man i am pumped i am running late oh come on get back on there it is dark fellas i have no idea how good this footage is even gonna be but you know what can i say the last 24 hours between messing up my hand to a point where i've only got about half the mobility out of it uh having my skinner get sick and go down uh he's back now luckily but we're way behind and then having issues with a, a tire going down i basically took a pretty good shot in the mouth but i am not going to let that get me down we're going to keep pushing through and we're going to keep doing this and we're going to have an awesome season i am not going to let anything slow me down that's part of the drive i always talk about how bad do you want it how bad do you want to succeed i'll tell you what I want to succeed pretty damn bad. That's a big coon. Let's go to the last spot. All right, guys, we just got back home. We absolutely hammered them today. Uh, I haven't got a total count yet. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, spend some time with the family, come out here later and break everything down. But what a day, hell yes.